Uh, good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It is Wednesday morning, 8.13. Not bad for my first day back on the road in like three months. Uh, you know, usually I try to leave by eight. So I'm close. I mean, I'm still gonna be early for my first meeting, theoretically, because I'm actually gonna stop, obviously, and get Starbucks, and that's gonna put me a little behind too, but whatever, whatever, right? Okay, it is a gorgeous, sunny morning out, <laughs> except it's freaking cold. It's 31 degrees. That's another reason why I'm a little bit behind because I had to uh, turn the vehicle on and unfreeze it. No likey. Okay, I'm tired of listening to myself drone on. I'm making myself sleepy. So let's just hit the road. First time back in the new year. Yay. And here we are right off the bat. First day out. And I'm at a complete standstill. I can see that there's an accident up ahead, according to Waze. I'm trying to get through this tunnel. See, tunnels are like the bane of my existence, and there's nowhere for me to go. So I'm sitting here until they clear the accident and we get moving again. Let's just sit here with our thumbs up our butts. All right, kids, I am 0.7 miles away from the hotel. It's 526, or 523. Oh. Sorry, looking at the wrong thing here. I'm gonna get at the hotel at 526. I'm ready to be the hell out of this forerunner. Today was brutal. Tomorrow's gonna be even more brutal because I literally have like two meetings and all I'm doing is driving. But for now, I have to pee. So we're here, let's go. Hey kids, I just thought I'd give you a little update. It's 1047. I just got done doing my nightly routine, showering and all that shit and getting ready for laying in bed. Now, the interesting thing is that I laid here earlier when I got back from dinner and I had eaten quite a lot because I hadn't pretty much eaten all day. I was pretty hungry. Steak and shrimp, baby. And I ended up passing out watching videos. Don't really have much recollection of it, but didn't matter and I knew I needed it. So I just let myself go to sleep. Now I was just gonna like throw the shit off of me and, and turn the lights off and just go right to sleep. But I felt gross. So I had to get up and like brush my teeth and, and I'm like, oh fuck, I should just shower. Uh, so I did, I did all that stuff. That's all you get for tonight. Uh, you know, we'll pick this back up in the morning. I, I was hoping that I would wake up in the morning and, and there would be like a ton of sunshine and, and I could film from my hotel room, but whatever. All right, good night kids. Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, and it is a bright, sunny morning, isn't it? It's Thursday morning, uh, about 8.45. I'm just now all packed up and ready to leave the hotel and go to breakfast and, and then start my day. It is sunny and nice out right now, which I'm happy about because I was expecting to wake up to rain or <laughs> snow, but there's no any of that yet. So hopefully it stays behind me and I don't have to deal with it the entire way home. So anyways, I'm hungry, let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, breakfast was eaten. It's 38 degrees and it's now clouded over. You can see some spots of blue, but it's definitely cloudy. But they're pretty fluffy clouds, so that's fine. All right, let's go do that first meeting. Okay, kids, first week back in tunnel traffic. Yes, this time I didn't even get to the sign that says three miles to tunnel before the traffic started backing up. Ugh. That side's even worse. Those poor people, they're going down to a single lane. Now, of course, they just got through the tunnel and you think to yourself, all right, I got through the tunnel, should be smooth sailing from here. And then you come out through that side of the tunnel and you're like, what the shit? All of a sudden it's two lanes. And then all of a sudden it's one lane. I have stopped a couple of times. I have to pee now. It's nonstop, and, and I'm not going anywhere anytime soon because this is like solid red lines until I get through the tunnel. I'm, I'm not particularly road ragey, but the longer I sit in this and, and the more insistent I, I like have to pee, I might get a little ornery, and nobody needs to see that. So, okay, we'll, we'll touch bases in a little bit unless something unusual happens. Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here, and it is... 9.48, Friday morning. I have uh, been doing some day job stuff on the computer, and now I'm just getting around to getting out here and doing all the stuff around the house. So I've been talking about it 
but today is going to be a busy day. I'm going to fire down breakfast here and then I need to go see a local dealer as they requested to have a meeting with me. Then I got to go do my eye exam. Then I have to go and do my massage. Then I have to go and order my glasses. And then I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Today is going to be the coldest day of the week. Okay, kids, I am on my way to the eye doctor. I was going to go to the appointment first, or not the appointment, uh, the, like my meeting first, but I just didn't have enough time, and I didn't want to run in there and be like, oh, sorry, got to go. So that means I'm going to go and get the eye exam and the massage and then go to my meeting all greasy. I mean, it's an informal meeting anyways. I'm doing her a favor by going there, but you know, I didn't want to go all gross and, and greasy, but apparently I'm going to. <laughs> okay, so I got my eye exam done, which was, you know, pretty much what I expected. Uh, nice doctor, very cool. And I also got my massage done. Now, the nice thing was is that I left the doctor and basically just drove down the road and went to get the massage. So that gave me an hour of sitting in a darkened room with dilated pupils. That walk from the doctor's office, like a few rows into the parking lot to get into my vehicle without having sunglasses or anything, I had my glasses, but it wasn't enough time for him to transition to the dark amount that I needed. I have these prescription sunglasses, these Ray-Bans that I had gotten one year because I didn't need new glasses and they cover more than my glasses do anyways and they're very necessary. So I have been wearing these and I just had a meeting with my local dealer and and you know because I stopped in on my own you know basically you know I said I can I can swing by. I was like sorry I just had my eyes dilated. I'm gonna have to keep the sunglasses on and she's like oh no I'll sit across from a movie star no problem so she was cool with it. But, but my eyes are finally starting to, to go back to normal so that, that even like sitting inside my vehicle, not in the direct sunlight, but having all of the sunlight was excruciating. It was brutal, even with the sunglasses on. So I'm finally at a point now where, where it is not excruciating, but my eyes still aren't back to normal. Let's go to the Pearl Vision Center and get my new glasses. Hey, Seuss Maria. Jeez, that was expensive. Freaking insurance in this, in this, or insurance, insurance, healthcare are, are like ridiculous in this country. My God, that just cost me basically a little bit over a grand to get those damn glasses. And that was with insurance. Christ, they would have been almost $1,600 for what I got. Ah, tree falling in the woods. Okay, apparently because it's this, you know, the, the new technology, whatever, this Verilux lens. But I mean, there's nothing I can do about it other than bitch and complain. This is something that I have to have I, because I can't see shit. I got to have glasses. And if I'm going to have to wear these fucking things every day and all that kind of stuff, one, they need to be comfortable. And two, they need to actually work and be functional. Okay, great. I just fucking dropped a crayon on new glasses. Uh, okay, wasn't expecting that much. Okay, I'm done bitching about it. It has to be done. I got to do it. That's why I have a job, so I can pay for shit like that. It's just unfortunate that I have to. So fuck you, government, for taking all my money in taxes uselessly and, and for, like, scamming and screwing all of us freaking hard workers with your shitty insurance scams and, and, and all the other bullshit. All right, let's go eat and then do some other shit. Okay, after a brutal week of being back to work and more importantly, back on the road and being so busy today, I decided to take this last couple of hours since I got back to work on my hat. Okay, if you can see here, first thing I did was I took the band off and then I used a leather hole punch and I punched holes, like four holes, so that I could run the embroidery floss and I got like a turquoise embroidery floss and I crisscrossed it through and I wrapped it around the top of the spike a few times and then ran it through again and then I tied the shit out of it on the back and super glued the knots. Then I popped a hole in the like the, the leather cross piece on each spot here and then I put the pin through all the way up to 
like so it was tucked in there uh, you know like smushed in, into the the leather piece and then i went all the way to the end here and i took the little cap that goes on the pin which i had stuck myself with at, at least a dozen times and i super glued that on there so now that hopefully will dry up and it won't pop off and then it won't be able to slide through the, the leather holes that i made and then i took the card and i punched a couple of holes in between each of the of the um, rivets on the band itself and I used craft wire so it's a little bit bendier and, and basically cut off s extra long staples if you will and I shoved them through and then I twisted them around in the back now that I didn't use any super glue for because what the hell for it ain't going anywhere then I took this feather that I liked or this bunch of feathers here and I sort of smushed the tip down and, and I stuck a, a, a tiny little nail through it, hammered a hole through it. And then I shoved more of that craft wire through and got it wrapped around the actual like tip of the feathers and had punched a hole in that last little strip of leather and then put it through the hole and then wrapped it around and cinched it off in the back. So all that to say, this stuff isn't going anywhere and hopefully the super glue will dry and the thread won't come untied and the little tip of the turquoise pin won't come off and it'll be good to go so this is what it looks like and of course it's just it's just tied on the back there like that and that i didn't do anything with i just pulled the entire band up now i haven't cinched the band down to the hat i just have this tied back there so that it's tight enough that it won't creep up but not so tight that it'll it'll deform the hat and that's pretty much it and that's the way it goes and now i have customized my new hat that my queen got me and i'm pretty happy with it so now i'm just going to be wearing the shit out of this so that uh it conforms to my melon a little bit better and and breaks in but that that's what you have to do with any hat okay Enough about that, enough about everything, that's all you get. So, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.